Hi, I'm Bill Cherry, and I uh, do perform Elvis Presley for Legends in Concert. Uh, Collinsville, Illinois, which is very close to St. Louis. Uh, probably six, seven years old. I started singing with Elvis Records. You know, my mother was an Elvis fan. So. Well, I, for years, uh, you know, I, I would sing with his records. Like I said, my mother was an Elvis fan, so uh, we would watch his movies. And then after uh, a movie was on television, I'd grab an album, I'd go in the bedroom and listen to it. You know, and uh, and I did this just because uh, of the love of Elvis. I, I I didn't know what an Elvis tribute artist was. I didn't know what an impersonator was. Uh, Elvis was actually still alive, so I mean, it, it wasn't like that. You know, I did it because I liked Elvis. And uh, of course, when he passed away. Um, my parents took me to see an Elvis impersonator, you know, and uh, and so I'm watching this guy on stage, and I'm thinking, and I'm looking around, and, and the place is packed, and they're acting as if this is Elvis, you know. Of course, it's not, and uh, and so I'm watching this guy, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, wow, I, I think I could do that, you know. I mean, I've been doing it for years in the bedroom, you know. So uh, yeah, once I saw that, uh, then I kind of started thinking about, wow, you know. Uh, Maybe I ought to start trying to uh, imitate that. You know, whereas before I was just doing the voice. I was just trying to do his voice, singing with the records, you know. And uh, so once I saw that, um, I started working on everything. You know? And uh, so it, it took me a few years before I thought I was ready to get in front of an audience, but that's where it started for me. Uh, well, you know, it, you know, you put the makeup on, you know, and it, and the suits and things like that. Uh, as far as uh, uh, trying to get into character, I think once you have the costume on, it kind of naturally comes on you. You know, it's, uh, it's something that you know, the spirit comes on you. you know? <laughs> uh, most people, most people like it. You know, they, they get a kick out of it. Uh, you know, they laugh. You know, it's it's a fun thing. You know. Uh, very rarely do you run across anyone with sarcasm or, or anything like that, you know. Uh, but uh, it, it's pretty much uh, accepted and, and, you know, people like it. Uh, you know, it, it happens, but not, not that often uh, to me, because when I'm, not, when I'm not in character, when I'm not on stage, I, I, I really downplay that, you know. Uh, of course, they see my sideburns, you know. and. Uh, so right away it's Elvis, you know what I mean? Oh, you must do Elvis or whatever, you know. But uh, uh, you know it, it happens, but not a lot. You know, like I said, I just try to avoid that. Uh, no, I uh, uh, the favorite part. I mean, the whole thing is is, is fun for me. Uh, you know, uh, right before I walk out, the reaction to the audience when I walk out. Uh, you know, that's a uh, uh, such a rush. You know, it's it's something that. Uh, uh, is very uplifting, you know, um, because they see they see Elvis, you know. What I mean, it, it's that character, but e even though they're seeing an image of someone else, it is me, and I feel that, you know. And so it, it's uh, it's it's a great feeling, you know, throughout the whole show. You know? uh, of course, when you do songs like uh, Suspicious Minds, you do moving and things like that, and the people get excited, and, and you know, the more exciting they, they get, the more energetic I feel, you know, I want to give them more, you know, so it's just a, it's an all-around high, you know, from the time you hit the stage to the time you leave. You know, it's so hard to say because, you know, you, you, uh, you work with different audiences, you know, and, uh, and, and they're different, you know, I, I, I mean, I've had people, uh, almost pass out, you know, uh, you give them scars and stuff, you know, they, they get so into it, you know, and, and, and our job is to take them back in time, you know, it's a time capsule. And uh, so if, if we can do that, then, you know, we're doing a good job, you know. And, and whenever they feel it like that, that strongly, it's, it's just, like I said again, you know, it's just a great rush, you know. It's, uh, most every time you hit that stage is a memorable moment, you know, if you want to call it that. You know, it's just a lot of fun. Yeah, so uh, in, uh, in 2009, uh, I won the Ultimate Elvis Contest, which was put on by the estate of Elvis Presley. Prior to that, I was a welder. I worked in a steel foundry, and uh, it was uh, it, it was quite a uh, a blessing for me. I the, the Elvis thing was 
uh, pretty much a, uh, uh, a hobby type thing. I, I didn't make a living doing it. I did it, you know, now and then. Uh, in 2008, uh, the steel foundry that I worked for had, had layoffs. So I got laid off in 2008. When I got laid off, uh, a friend of mine showed me this Elvis contest that the estate was putting on. He said, man, you should try that, you know. I said, I don't know. You know I just, I didn't know if I could do that, you know. Uh, but uh, I went ahead and did it, and uh, I won the uh, preliminary round in uh, Tupelo, Mississippi, which is where Elvis was born. And so from winning there, the, the, the preliminary round, I went straight to Memphis and I won the big contest. So I was the first tribute artist to ever do that, to win in Tupelo, where Elvis was born, and then Memphis, where Elvis lived and died, you know. Uh, so uh, it was, uh, that, that is a memorable moment. It was almost like, uh, Twilight Zone, you know, when they announced me as the winner, I was like, did, that, did they really just say me, you know, I, I, because I don't see what they see, you know what I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't, I don't walk around like I'm Elvis Presley and I think I'm this and I think I'm that, you know, uh, I'm, I'm an Elvis fan, you know, and, and so uh, being able to do what I do is, is, is a blessing to me, you know, to be able to get there and do that, uh, and uh, so when I won that, it just changed everything for me, you know, I, I the, the steel plant tried to call me back, and I said, no, I don't think, <laughs> I want to go back to that, you know, I'm going to ride this as long as I can. So, come see our show, and it's a family show, and uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. You can get your tickets at choosebranson.com.